something that I come across time and time again is detoxification. Um, and I really try to educate clients a lot on detoxification because that's the way that the body actually is able to remove toxins and waste products from inside our bodies and keep them, keep them clean and tidy um, to keep health. Um, when we have problems with detoxification that is correlated to issues such as diabetes, um, obesity, cognitive functions, some even say Parkinson's and dementia, um, cancer and infertility. Because if we can't remove waste products and toxins out of our body, then we are going to be sick from them, obviously. So there's basically two sides of the coin the one is um, nutrients and the other is removal of toxins we do use nutrients for um, the process of detoxification and so when we use them up or if we don't have enough of them it can be difficult for the body to function in the detoxification process well so um, Increasing those nutrients just makes sure you have all the building blocks for um, that process. And um, the other side of the coin is actually removing toxins and reducing exposure. So um, if we start with the nutrient side of things, um, definitely the best vegetables or foods that you can eat are cruciferous vegetables now even if you google up cruciferous vegetables you find a whole family of vegetables which include broccoli cauliflower brussels sprouts cabbage kale spinach um, leafy greens basically like your rocket and watercress and all that and these vegetables have amazing nutrients that support um, the detoxification process. They support the kidney and the liver. And, um, and then the next thing is fiber, actually, because fiber keeps our gut healthy, but it also uh, binds to some of these toxins and can help to pull them out of the body through through stool basically so an amazing way of getting rid of toxins is actually just to make sure that you don't get constipated that you can um, remove the waste products safely and that brings us to the next point is to drink plenty of water so that actually you can expel through the urine as well we have a few organs that really work with the detoxification process the liver is, a, is number one because it actually converts toxins into a, a state of being able to eliminate them but obviously the intestines and kidney where you actually remove the toxins through stool and urine um, sweat glands so the whole skin um, and even the lungs, because we have gases that we expel through the lungs, um, which help to keep our gases in balance in our bodies. Um, so that's kind of the food side of things. And then the other side is actually reducing the toxins that we expose ourselves to. So that is, um, for example, to wash your fruit and vegetables always, even the organic ones, just wash them. You don't know what's on them or where they've been or who sprayed them with whatever. So just always wash your fresh produce. Um, the next thing is to um, look at what you're cooking your food in. Make sure that your cookware doesn't have like, um, you know, toxic nonstick um, coatings on them and that you're, you're using cookware that is safe for foods, for example, stainless steel or uh, glass or enamel or ceramic um, chopping boards. Maybe don't use the plastic ones. Maybe you can use a wooden one or a glass one or whatever you, you prefer. Um, also, plastic is a major disruptor um, of our body processes and it actually disrupts hormones as well so that's an important one to reduce if you can even use like glass Tupperware stainless steel Tupperware or even glass jars I use glass jars just empty empty ones that I've had from the shop with other stuff in just wash them out 
put uh, food, leftover food and pop that in the freezer and there you have a free Tupperware. Um, and the other thing is just chemicals. We have so many chemicals around the house in our hygiene products, in our makeup. So just look out for stuff that has less toxins, less chemicals um, and just start to change way things in your environment that will help to reduce those toxins and um, there's a couple of websites that i um really have started to use and love their products the one is peacewiththewild.co.uk peace with the wild and they collect vendors that have uh, plastic free or low plastic uh, low chemical products um, so it's really interesting there's everything from hair and cleaning and um, mommy baby products and all sorts of things the other website is called lessplastic.org.uk less plastic and <clears throat> these are people that have <clears throat> that have gone around the beaches and just seen so much plastic and actually started an organization to reduce plastic and awareness and if you look on their website they have loads of good products as well and um, i've collected a few vendors um, on their website that you can look through the list and see if there's something there that you would be able to buy from instead of buying um, your plastic and chemical ridden products so there's a couple of tips for you on uh friday morning i hope you guys have a good friday a good saturday and sunday eat your veg drink your water enjoy your health and let me know if you have any of your own tips or own websites that you use to reduce plastic reduce chemicals reduce toxins um or things that things that have just worked for you in regards to detoxification um, it's a cool process that the body does just naturally and that we can support through food and lifestyle so have a great day bye